Oh, nice. I have the Paul. So we're back with some more Uncharted Reloaded. I know it's been a while. Recently, there's been some updates and I just want to sit down and talk about it with you guys and, you know, give my opinion on some of the changes. I also want to talk about the state of Uncharted Reloaded right now because there's some issues and uh, I want to talk about the future of what Reloaded should look like. There are some things that are bad, just straight up not good. <laughs> uh, this might be a long one, so let's just, you know, get right into it. So the updates, yeah, I can just show you some of the changes they made. Firstly, yeah, Untraceable, the paid booster, is now a slot two booster. <laughs> if you don't remember, this is the thing that made your bullet trails invisible. So the thing is, I have cloaked on so if you combo this oh my yeah this might be a little too strong i don't know we'll, we'll have to see the tau sniper yeah the tau sniper got a complete rework so it only has one bullet in the chamber but they actually went through and made it a one shot to the head from a competitive point of view this is what the tau sniper needed undoubtedly alongside that the ak-47 got buffed uh, it's more accurate now it's just a lot easier to control they also changed something wait hold on they changed something about the ak that i know a lot of you guys will like so hold on just give me a second so right now i'm on land party this is completely separate from reloaded it's a whole different thing so if i shoot the ak this is what we're used to, you know, nothing different. But let's go to Reloaded real quick. So now if I shoot the AK, yeah. They changed the AK to the beta sound effect and guys, I'm in love with it. Like, why did Naughty Dog get rid of this? Like, they perfected the sound effect, but they got rid of it for some reason. This should be permanent. Like, I really like the sound effect. So anyway, another thing. They changed team save to slot one. Comp players are happy as hell. This was taken away from them like 10 years ago. Like, this was just a meta loadout. This is what everyone used in 2013. And also, I have to show you guys this because it is funny. They made blue explosive expert a slot one booster. So that means if you put both boosters on and then you go down to quick boom, you guys see where I'm going with this. <laughs> this means you can have like five or six grenades at once. So we just got to test this out. I have to get my kickback first so if i throw these nades oh my god <laughs> guys Guys. oh my yeah that might be that might be a little too much guys like we don't need quick boot meta again some of the pistols also got buffed so i'll just show my live reaction to it on screen so they gave the r micro zero recoil oh. yeah. yo what <laughs> <laughs> That's busted. I think they're experimenting with it. They but definitely like, are. They definitely gonna... are. They definitely are. Stay still, you dingus. Yeah, they made it. They made it one shot. Pistol. The yeah, uncharted what? I think what needs to happen is just they increase the fire rate of the of the defender just a little bit. That's a little too slow. I think it should be more like a uh, something like that. You know, it's just like you have to spam it, and even then, it's just not like because the part nine just. Like, so now that I'm on the balance team, I just want to thank the Reloaded team for making all this possible. But now I'm going to start playing, so just give me a second. I like it, good. All right, looks like we're playing Team Objective for the millionth time. It shows there's six people, but I know there's more than that. I think there's been issues with the lobbies recently. I mean, it's a beta. There's going to be issues. Yeah, see, look, there's eight people. Anyway, yeah, like I said earlier, I'm just going to go through some of the updates and talk about what's been happening recently. Okay, I will actually try to use different weapons in this video. I said I was going to last time, but I, I just didn't. I'm already in love with this Tau Sniper. <laughs> but I have seen the community's reaction, and it does seem to be a little split. You know, that's expected because it's practically a new gun. Anyway, yeah, the Tau Sniper. Um, there's some issues with it. I, I need to talk about it. So it does 50 damage, which means the two shots, which might be a little too much for a pistol. Oh my god, look at that. Just kill Janix in under a second. That's crazy. So I think there's two ways you can fix this. One, just make it a three shot. It should obviously still one shot to the head, but you know, three shots to the body. Or two, they just remove reload speed. I think it's a little too quick with reload speed, so without it, I think it would balance out the gun perfectly. It can easily be switched out with max ammo, give it an extra like four bullets. They should probably switch out rate of fire as well because that's literally pointless. It only has one bullet. I keep saying they like I'm not on the balance team. Like I'm, I'm speaking in third person. <laughs> So there is actually one big issue I need to talk about with the Tau. I'm aware that in co-op, the Tau never got nerfed. I've seen the complaints. I even talked to Gambo about it. So here's my take on it. Obviously, the team is going to prioritize multiplayer over co-op. It's a significant change for the multiplayer, but it's also a slight negative for co-op. Like, look at that. I, I'm not going to do that with the old Tau Sniper. Like, it's so nice knowing that if I hit that headshot, it's going to kill them. From what I've seen, the only people this significantly hurts are the Co-op Adventure Speedrunners. Specifically, that part on Syria when you have to climb up the wall and shoot them down. And yeah, it sucks. I'd imagine they're really annoyed by that. If there's any way of buffing the clip capacity for Co-op but keeping it the same in multiplayer, that should be in the works. In the meantime, maybe the Tau Sniper spawns can be switched out with a Mag 5 until there's an actual fix for it. And for the Co-op players, you have to realize that this is an actual positive for the multiplayer. Like, it isn't just some random change. Because the Tau Sniper 
Sniper was horrible in multiplayer, but was really good in co-op, but obviously now that is switched. So because we made some of the co-op players mad, I think we should do something to make up for it. What I think would be cool is if you can customize your character for co-op adventure. If you want to use Nepal Drake, Wet2 Drake, Desert Drake, f it, even the Big Chungus Drake, I think that'd be amazing. I want to see that happen. And speaking of customization, I have one simple request for the dev team. Please give young Sully the fedora. I've wanted this for years, and now that it's possible, just, just please, guys. Just imagine him with the fedora. Just like, oh my god. Switch it out with like the heavy chain or something. Like, no one uses that. Come on. You know, since I want my own accessories, I guess if people want head wrap clothes, oh, it'd be buffing an already OP character, but whatever. Yo, wait, this man gave me like five seconds of breathing room. <laughs> if you host one of these lobbies, give people like 30, 40 seconds in between matches to like ready up. <laughs> and it's the same teams. Like, what is this guy doing? Anyway, yeah, there should be more updates. And in the future, I think there should be more things to customize. Like if people want their own like custom camo, something like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. Anyway, I should probably talk about this before I forget about it. In my last video, whenever I was talking about Fleetfoot, I bring up the female hitboxes and I was talking about how they're smaller than the male hitboxes. And after I did some testing, I found out that the hitboxes might actually just be the same. Are we testing the hitbox or? Yeah, I can, I plan on talking about it in the video, so. Yeah, it's still, like I, I didn't shoot you just then. Yeah, I, I clearly missed that. And then if you, I can miss a lot here. Playing this game for over 10 years, I was always told that the females are actually smaller and that's why, you know, everyone in comp uses them. But though it's not confirmed, they're most likely the same. With that being said though, female characters still have a competitive advantage. Like for one, they're still visually smaller, like they're a lot harder to see. Even from your POV, it takes up less of your screen, so it's a little easier to see. Two, you have a silent reload, which isn't that important, but it's still an advantage, I guess. And three, for whatever reason, female characters aim higher, so it's a lot more difficult to headshot them, if not just straight up impossible. Nice. And also using female characters gives this like placebo effect that you're just better. Maybe it's just me, I don't know, I just feel a lot more sweatier. So even though they're technically harder to hit, it's definitely not as bad as I thought it was. So I just want to apologize for telling you something that most likely isn't true. I really did believe it was smaller, but it most likely isn't. Yeah, they also removed that blind fire thing I was talking about before. I know people were jump sniping with it. They had their fun, but you know, it, it was a mechanic that was unnecessary. I'm telling you right now though, if you go to any clip hunter that was known for jump sniping and you showed them those clips of people hitting like the aimbot jump snipes, they would straight up tell you that's the stupidest thing they've ever seen in their life. And me as well, like, yeah, I thought that was pretty whack. You know, I don't even think I deserve that title. Like I wouldn't even describe myself as a clip hunter anymore, or at least not a traditional one. It's funny because if you use a dragon with a T-Bolt kickback and you don't use Fleetfoot, people just assume you're a clip hunter. <laughs> Okay, why do people play OBJ Syria? Like, I just don't get it. This has to be one of the worst things to play, like. Like, but, bro, look! How do you like this? Man? Like, look at this shit! These spawns are terrible, it sucks. He pulled out a drag. <laughs> he pulled out a dragon because it's multi marked man. Like, that. that's not banned? Like, bro, that is so cheesy, but it works because it's Syria. Comp players, in the comments, tell me why you like this map, because I, I seriously just don't get it. Oh, wow. You know what, I'm gonna leave you there, because you honestly deserve it. <laughs> just happened. I don't know what this leader is doing, bruh. It's been the exact same teams for the past hour. Like, can you switch it up? Wait, why am I host? What, what the fuck is happening? Yeah, I need to take a break. I'm about to crash out. I like it, good. All right, so it's been about a week and a half. I've had some time to cool off. Well, okay, I'm pretty sure the last map you guys just seen me play was Old Quarter, or was one of the last maps, I don't know. Uh, I'll just speed run this match just to get it over with. Wait, do we have kickbacks? Why do I even bother? Yeet. What? I was so behind that wall. Dink. Is that shot? Let me get my get back though. <clears throat> what would my team do without me? So the lobby glitched, I don't know what just happened. 
Bro, you just played this map. Are you serious? I like it, could. Syria again? Are you? Fu Yo, guys, we need a map randomizer or, or something. I am so tired of playing the same six maps like over and over and over again. L okay, I can do London. I can do London. The comp lobbies, man, it's just the same six maps from rotation. Like, and that's the thing. The beta is literally all competitive lobbies right now, or at least 90% of it. I don't really mind playing in these lobbies unless it's like Syria, but it's every damn time. Man. It's all Fleetfoot, M9s, female characters, and Skeletors. Like, that, that's literally it. At least it's not as bad as like Uncharted 4 or something. Like, <laughs> that game's all about ego. Like, I and hate it that's why i stopped playing a while ago because like people just want to assert dominance all the time like i just don't get it anyway yeah there's something important i need to tell you guys because it's a serious issue i need to talk about it so one of the biggest issues with reloaded is that there's no matchmaking it's all custom games right now like the matchmaking just doesn't work the issue is the ease of access the accessibility it's difficult to play like that that's what i'm trying to say whenever i want to record you know i go to the discord and i see that there's maybe like one or two people typing sometimes there's no one typing and from that i assume that there's really no one playing but in actuality there's like two or three active lobbies with like eight to ten people <laughs> There's a language barrier, so that's annoying. I don't have everyone added, like that makes it more difficult. On PS3, the friends list is capped at 100, which makes it so much more complicated. Matchmaking did all the heavy lifting. Like it was so important, it was so convenient, but we just don't have that right now. That really sucks. So I'm bringing all this up because uh, not even the dev team knows about this. I will not be making a tutorial on how to play Uncharted Reloaded whenever it fully releases. I think with there being no matchmaking, it would deter a lot of people from playing because it's going to be all custom games like how it is right now. It's going to feel like excellent Kai, but with updates and moderation. That's it. The player retention will go down within a couple weeks, and I, I just don't want that to happen. Outside of Sky Mods, I don't think there's any other Uncharted channel that has as much reach as I do, which isn't even a flex because I'm like the only person on this planet that makes Uncharted content. But I know if I make it, it would reach out to more casuals. If they hear that there's no traditional matchmaking and it's all custom, like they probably just won't want to do it. With that being said, I did see that matchmaking will be a thing in the future. So whenever matchmaking is a thing or it's announced or something like that, that's when I'll make the tutorial. If it's announced that it will take years or it would straight up be impossible, I'd make it then because, you know, what's the point of waiting? But until it's in the game, you know, I just won't make it. <laughs> I don't like you, Gen X. Don't worry, I'll still make a video whenever the project releases. Like, I'm not going to do you guys that dirty. Just someone else is going to have to make the tutorial. That's it. So with there being no matchmaking, in the meantime, I think that in the Discord, there should be a channel dedicated to like active lobbies. When there's like two or more people in a lobby, the channel should say like how many people are in there and what they're playing. It needs to be like a live feed, like updated every 10 to 20 minutes, just to make it a lot easier for people to get on. Namely casuals, because we, <laughs> we need more casuals, guys. Hold that. Nope. No, bro, what? Are you serious? What was that spot? Oh, there's no way that just happened. No, I'm actually mad. That did not just happen, bro. But, oh my god, this fucking map. Again, Syria, I, I just can't believe it. You know what? For you guys, uh, I'll play through it. I'll just suffer. If mid game I suffer an aneurysm, just don't be surprised. Uh, you know what? I need to talk about something anyway, so it's fine. I know it's controversial, but Fleetfoot, I want to talk about it for a little bit. Hey, I'm just going to say right now, prepare for some yapping because I need to talk about this. So there's people who are sticking with the argument that there's nothing wrong with Fleetfoot and it needs to stay the exact way that it is right now. So I really want to give my take and my opinion on why Fleetfoot is an issue in the state that it's in right now. So let's like read rewind back to 2019 whenever the servers for Uncharted 3 were still up. Back then, Fleetfoot was still an issue, but it wasn't as big as an issue as it is right now. The majority of people play Team Deathmatch, so I'm gonna base it off that. In DLC lobbies, from what I remember, on average there would be around like 4 or 5 people using Fleetfoot, and in non-DLC lobbies, that number would go down to like 2 or 3. And that's counting everyone in the lobby, like both teams, all 10 people. But fast forward today to Uncharted Reloaded, I can say with confidence that there's usually around like eight people using Fleetfoot and they tend to not take it off. So for DLC players, the usage of Fleetfoot has doubled and for non-DLC players, it has quintupled. So I can at least say Fleetfoot is now three times stronger than what it used to be based off people using it more frequently. If you're more of a casual player that doesn't want to use Fleetfoot all the time, you're just not going to have fun. Right now I'm using Cloak, you know, the slot one booster. This is arguably the second best booster in the game, but 
I'm at a major disadvantage because it's not Fleetfoot. I guess some people just don't see an issue with that. I've heard people say that Fleetfoot is an overall positive because it enhances the gameplay or the gunplay of the multiplayer and makes the game feel a lot better. Something similar to like Weapon Expert on Uncharted 4. I agree it feels better because, you know, you feel a lot less stiff. But to say that it enhances the gunplay and makes interactions between enemies feel a lot better, like no, that's the complete opposite of that. Let me explain this. So the hardest thing to learn in U3 is how to aim. It isn't movement, rotation, spawns. No, it's learning how to aim or at least learning how to get a consistent shot. Any competitive player will tell you that. There's a sizable skill gap with learning how to aim, especially with like snipers, but there's also this like noticeable skill limit. Your aim can only get so good before the game literally doesn't allow you to get any better. Like, bro, I just spawned here. Like, what the hell? Anyway, yeah, everyone knows that the input delay and the dead zones and the aim response curve for U3 is just trash. A lot of people know that you aim with L3, not R3. The head up gunfights in this game consists of just strafing left and right and hoping that the other guy misses his shots. That's why the M9 is the best. TTK over accuracy. The AK-47 can literally have zero recoil, the M9 would still be better. At least in the state the game's in right now. Like I said, some of the gunfights is this game of spraying and praying and hoping that your stopping power is better. Obviously, adjusting your camera and micro adjustments are possible, but still, a lot of it is this game of hoping the other guy misses his shots. It's just as easy to win a gunfight as it is to lose one. And Fleetfoot does not help that out. If anything, it makes it worse. If you want to stay in the head glitch, man, sure, I'm, I'm just not doing that. But anyway, it does feel better to have like a faster strike speed because the base strike speed, you literally move like a rock. But it ends up with a lot of these gunfights being very unpredictable and feeling like complete shit. And I'm not trying to say the gunplay for U3 is bad. Like, obviously, it's still good. It's very satisfying to kill people. But it would be a hell of a lot better if I didn't encounter Fleetfoot every 10 seconds. Okay, I'm about to lose my fucking mind. This map is all, all I'm just going to face tank the rest of this match because I'm about to pop a blood vessel or something. That may have been the worst 10 minutes of my f***ing life. I'll see ya, I'm not doing that no more. You know what, I'll play some solo co-op for the rest of the video, so just give me a second. Uh, it should work, so, uh, yep, there it is. Oh, by the way, this is on my modded PS3, I'm on LAN party right now. This isn't in Reloaded yet, but hopefully it will be soon. Anyway, yeah, like I was saying, the gunplay in this game feels really good, but it could feel a lot better, but Gold Fleetfoot is hindering that. There's a reason why you can't give everyone Gold Fleetfoot by default. One, everyone would run cloaked, and literally no one wants a cloaked meta, but now everyone's moving too damn quick, and the gun fights, especially in these lower school lobbies, would be unnecessarily difficult and too inconsistent. Also, could you imagine going against someone using Fleetfoot, Scoped, and Regeneration with a Dragon Sniper T-Bolt class? No one wants to go against that. Literally no one. And I know there's going to be people who say, well, obviously, if you give a slot one booster by default, it would break the multiplayer. Like, imagine if everyone had bargain by default. That wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, you're exactly right. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. It isn't this thing people use for convenience. If that was the case, then making a default wouldn't be an issue, you know, outside of everyone using flow. It's not this thing that solely enhances the gunplay. It doesn't make the flow of the multiplayer any better. It's simply an OP booster you have to use, otherwise you're going to be the disadvantage. That's it. The hell? The hell? If we look at Monkey Man, we can all agree that this is used for convenience. It barely makes you a harder target and it has almost nothing to do with the gunplay. Not gameplay like movement and swiftness, I'm talking about gunplay like getting shot at in gunfights. But again, a lot of us would agree it's a very crutch booster, unless you're playing like Temple or something. But you know, I just have this strange feeling that if it was announced that Monkey Man was getting a very, very slight nerf, a nerf that was barely noticeable, Almost none of the competitive players would give a shit about it, or at least not as much if it were Fleetfoot. The only issue with making Gold Monkey Man a base stat is now everyone just spams regeneration team save. Obviously, a lot of competitive players wouldn't care if Fleetfoot was a default stat because in their comp matches, everyone uses it anyway. But for literally everyone else, like, no, they just wouldn't like that. I'm telling you right now, if Fleetfoot was removed from the game and the base strafe speed was increased by like 20%, outside of comp players and some casuals being upset about that, the game would play just fine. No! Man, this is difficult. Like, I can't do this shit. I'm not just some salty clip hunter who's mad that I can't hit my TGs and my five ons. Like, I, I don't care about that. I'm just trying to explain to some people that gold and maybe even silver Fleetfoot isn't this pivotal mechanic that without it, the multiplayer is unplayable. It is simply an OP booster that most people have to use, otherwise, you just can't compete. The real issue is this one booster controls the entire multiplayer. So, how do you fix the issue? What's the best way of going about this? I think a change that would make almost everyone happy is to increase the base strafe 
speed by around like 5%. It won't really fix the issue of inconsistent gunfights, but it would help out with being at a disadvantage if you don't want to use the booster. I think some of the devs are scared to increase the base strafe speed. The base strafe speed? Like, I can't fucking say that. Try saying that five times as fast. Base strafe speed. Ba base strafe. Uh, fuck. Melee his ass. Like, what, what are you doing? Anyway, yeah, some of them are scared to do that because they think everyone would switch to cloaked. I'm telling you right now, that's just not going to happen. The people who don't want to use Fleet Foot, which is like 5% of the beta right now, they'll continue to use Bargain or Cloaked, whatever they want to use. And the other people, namely competitive players, will stick to Fleet Foot regardless if the base race speed gets increased or not. Even if it was increased to the levels of like Silver Fleet Foot, the competitive players will not switch off Gold because it is just that much better. There's a lot of adamant players on here that won't switch off Fleet Foot regardless if base strip gets increased or not also i am so sorry for my performance right now i uh this is painful I, i'm sorry guys am i making it any more obvious that i'm not a co-op player <laughs> anyway yeah i still think gold fleet foot should be decreased by around five percent but the amount of people that would be against that i mean even if it was a one percent decrease people would still hold pitchforks you do realize that if fleet foot was nerfed by 20 percent, it'd still be the best booster in the game people act like if it gets toned down just like a little bit it would completely kill the multiplayer like what are you talking about especially since it needs to get toned down but so many people are against that man anyway yeah like i said i think base strafe should be increased by around five percent it definitely won't nullify the issue but it'll be like putting an elmo band-aid on third degree burns it won't do much of anything but it, it's something i don't know please please oh my god i can't do this man I, yo, give me some tips in the comments to how to play co-op because I, I just can't do this man and i need to say one more thing i know a lot of people are against the idea of changing uncharted 3 a little bit especially the competitive players look i think uncharted 3 has the best multiplayer of all time but it has so many balance and design flaws you can't sit here and tell me with a straight face that uncharted 3 is perfect you just can't there's so many bad things that can be changed there's features and mechanics that can be innovated on but a lot of the comp players just don't care for that even after the latest patch notes and with is potentially being the biggest patch in Uncharted Reloaded history, I would say at least 90% of the competitive players are using the exact same loadout because they just don't want to change. The only thing I've seen them change is going back to Team Safe because, you know, that was taken away from them like 10 years ago. The AK, the Tau Sniper, the West 44, Untraceable, like these are all viable options, but a lot of the competitive players aren't using them because they just don't want to change. I get not wanting to use them in like actual comp games or scrims or clan battles, but these matches where there's a couple of casual players, like just be open up to change things up a little bit and i'm not saying all of you do like i know some of you pumped the brakes a little bit but it's the majority so i had to say something i mean a lot of you won't even get off the jades of nine like you don't even have to use that anymore but you know some of you just don't want to change if it was the first couple weeks i'd understand why but you know, bro it's been three months come on i've noticed that there is a lot more people playing co-op and it's because they don't feel like going against these sweaty ass competitive players they'd rather not go triple negative every match they play they don't feel like going against fleetfoot m9 marlows for two hours straight they want to have a casual experience but that's just not possible with people sweating their ass is off and i'm gonna say this directly to the comp players if there's a couple casuals in your lobby can you just like read the room a little bit you know pull off the ak turn on kickbacks once in a while you're the majority of people in this thing and pretty much if you don't like it it won't happen and you know what i'm also guilty of hearing someone's idea and having an initial reaction of that's the dumbest thing i've ever heard in my life it's totally normal to hear an idea and just not like it and i'm not saying that you three should be this like perfectly balanced multiplayer because it's kind of like mw2 in a way like the og mw2 because everything is busted but with it being like 95 percent comp players right now like some things just need to be toned down the purpose of a revival server is to revive the game so if you have all these competitive players bullying the casuals off the game that kind of defeats the purpose yeah that went as well as i expected to that was pretty bad so this is future cooper because i didn't record an outro for whatever reason <laughs> anyway yeah so like what past me was saying competitive players you guys got to switch things up time to time if there's a couple people in your lobby that clearly aren't that good they're just there to have a good time you know just please switch it up from my experience it's just obj after obj after obj after obj after obj it gets so repetitive and that's coming for me i'm the same guy who went to excellent kai and jump sniped for hours straight with like three or four other people i'm serious like i have vods that are like three or four hours long of us just jump sniping like I, I wish i was joking but i'd much rather do that than to play team objective for two or three hours straight on the same map so like guys i played a match of team deathmatch for the first time since like a month and a half ago can you believe it and even though it was only like six or seven minutes long that match was the most fun i've had in this game for a long time you know obviously in your private matches and your 3v3s or your 4v4s you know do whatever you want i'm not going to tell you what to do there but just know that not everyone wants to play the exact same game for hours straight so anyway yeah if you agreed with some of my 
my points or you disagreed you know tell me in the comments i'm serious i want some discussions like i want a lot of people to give their opinion on this whole situation because maybe i'm wrong maybe there's nothing wrong with fleetfoot nothing needs to happen with it like maybe i just don't see it so explain it to me like explain why you think fleetfoot is perfectly fine explain why you don't think anything needs to happen anyway as far as an update on the channel um i might do one more of these you know to sit down and talk about the beta there's definitely going to be another update or two so you know i might make a video on that the highlights video or the funny moments for this year because you know at this point it's an annual thing i'm taking my time with it you know making it as high quality as possible just to give you guys an uncharted video to watch by the end of the year anyway that's it for me i probably forgot some important stuff but whatever so i'll see you guys later